didn't catch your name, by the way. David. Da David? Yeah. Nathan. Nathan. Pleasure. Thank you, sir. Welcome aboard. Wow. All original furnishings from 1970, or mostly anyway. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. Hey, that's, that was a good deal. <laughs> I'm not saying it was bad. <laughs> somebody took it I don't know who but there was a kind of a felt covering right here that had a had a shuttle and SCA duo embossed on it Really? it was here in September but they took it off between then and February I don't know when <laughs> AC on when I came in earlier, so it's it's hot now. Not what you would expect, is it, with all with the structure? <laughs> you, you, it's like a lot of people apparently come in here expecting, you know, webs and girders and stuff like that. But yeah. can you see where the struts attach? Yeah. Right there. Yeah, those two thicker rings right there. Right. Mm -hmm. About midway back. Mm -hmm. That's that's it. That's it. Huh? <laughs> Doesn't take a lot. Yeah. Oh, this will be cool. Yeah, I was looking at these inside. Yeah. They're gonna have a little. Uh... Hopefully, they don't put those signs on her though. Yeah. yeah. Let's see. Oh, so that center is where they're gonna. Are they gonna put it in here? Yeah, it'll be, yeah. Like it'll be up here. here. Yeah. Orientation theater. Yes. Hopefully, they won't be cutting holes in her though. With a name to be determined. Yeah. And this is where the elevator used to be for the galley. Mm -hmm. When you consider it would hold about 500 people with seats in it. Yeah, I mean, you can. You can look at this and see it. It's like this. The, the, this is one structural ring. There's another, and then they tripled the skin around this area. Took all the insulation out, all the furnishings, and this goes right down to the outer skin. That's it. Make it live as possible. Huh? Make it live as possible. Yep. That's exactly it. Yeah. It's like the, the ceiling would probably be here, I and there were luggage racks the overhead. Yeah. Stuff they would add to it. Pretty much. All the insulation go is gone, all the panelings are gone, and that's why they have that blue tarp right there, is because it would get really, really cold back here when they were flying, because there's no insulation. <laughs> yeah. They would just seal it off up there, and it would stay warm. Because I talked to uh, talked to the crew chief one time, he said that you could come back here during flight, see your breath. It was that cold. Wow. 
Of course, this airplane, maximum takeoff weight's about 710,000 pounds. Oh. Well, I mean, just total, like it, it, whatever they're carrying, 710,000 pounds. The new ones go up over a million. If you wanted to, it's not recommended, but you could. <laughs> Yeah. They say it, they say it rumbles pretty good, but that's that's about yeah. it. There, there's a neat uh, computer still in one of the NASA buildings I saw. Mm -hmm. uh, the, the turbulence created off the shuttle uh, to the to the rear of the yeah. aircraft. I mean, there's a lot of turbulence. What do you see? What do you, what do you see on top of that blue box over there? <laughs> the <airport>. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wonder where they were. That's it. And what we found out is the shuttle provides zero extra lift for the flight. Yeah. Oh, I'm sure. It's just all drag. Yeah. They they could it was a lot lighter when they ferried him for delivery because they'd stripped him down. Yeah. There was nothing. There wasn't anything inside him. They took about twenty to thirty thousand pounds out. Back home, though, I think they were still quite heavy. Yeah. You it was about two twenty. Because they were bring stuff loaded like that. So yeah. The one they shipped when they landed here, and they took off here, uh, Florida, uh -huh. and, uh, California. Right. So I knew that it went. It ta it, when it taxi, it started at the end of the runway where all the stripes are at, where yeah. you don't hit. And it pretty much lifted off at the other end, at the stripes. No, it, it wasn't that far. It looked like, it looked like that way, but pretty close. Anyway. Yeah. They, uh, <laughs> a buddy of mine was in the cockpit. He said they, uh, a lot of pavement goes by between V1 and the time they rotate. <laughs> I bet. So. I bet Jim. Yeah. Good guy. Yeah, that's. He loves his trains too. That's yeah, he does. That's one of my other passions. Is trying to love trains. But that's NASA 905 in a nutshell. When when they stopped here in September, they had all the doors open here, and you could look at one of the doors and see the wing of the orbiter hanging out overhead. Pretty, yeah. pretty amazing. I don't know if you guys know this, did a little research last week. At some point in time, all six orbiters, including Enterprise, stopped here in Texas on this airplane. Right. Yeah. Really? Yeah. All six. And pretty much I miss every single one. <laughs> yeah. I caught one back in 2009, and it was the other, the other 740, but uh, pretty, pretty amazing. Yeah, and I was either. What say, Captain? How you doing? Well, how are you? Good. God, this thing is so cool. Pretty amazing. It is amazing. <laughs> here, I gotta tweet this. I've got a million people retweet it here in about another. Okay, well, go ahead and then I'll hit right behind you. <laughs> this is really what you need cool. to do is t take a picture of yourself inside it. Guess where I am. People are tired yeah. of looking at me. <laughs> you know, I still have it up in my office. <laughs> What's that, mine? Yes. Oh, okay. well, that's good. <laughs> you got to keep it there till the next spacecraft flies. That's what I always said. I'm not going back into mission control until we are ready to fly. So that's my way. Okay, well, I will do that. Yeah, it's just, it's like, you know, unfortunately, the picture doesn't do it justice. <laughs> Did you ever see one when the orbiter was on top? Oh, that is amazing. Is it not amazing? I mean, it's hard to believe uh, that uh, it gets into the air. But, you know, I mean, from everything I've read, and I'm sure you've read, with an orbiter on the top, it actually weighs less than a fully loaded 747. It's true. You know, full of people. So. So people weigh a lot. <laughs> I like what people say. I'm, I'm calling BS on the overweight baggage uh, fee. Well, if you have 400 people in there, each of 200 pounds, what is that? 80 Plus baggage. Thousand pounds, right? I mean, that's yeah. You know, the orbiter, well, the orbiter weighs 220. 
plus baggage, plus seats, plus all the other things. You know, you take it all out, you take the walls off, and suddenly you can carry 200,000 pounds of stuff. You've got 35,000 pounds of water in there. Why? <laughs> Just to hold it down? Keep it from blowing away? Oh, oh. 35,000? Yeah, we got what? 62 50 pop gallon drums. drums in the oh Whoa! Gosh. That was fun. That was fun. <laughs> that I did not know. So you're going to take them out and tow it down, though, right? And then put them back. You're going to tow it with them in there? Yeah. How many gallons huh? or pounds? Uh, 35,000 uh, 35, pounds of water. That's amazing. That's nothing compared to what this thing can lift. Yeah. You want to go upstairs and see the upper deck? Yeah. I hope not. <laughs> well, that is one old cockpit. That's what. By today's standards, that thing is. Have you been inside one of the new ones? I have. They're gorgeous. Yep. Yeah, of course, this guy's gone. Yep. Since '89. So we don't need all that stuff anymore. We got. We got computers. Good grief! Look at all that. Isn't that amazing? That's just to move the fuel around. Ah. And you see a pick, they get a whole panel just to end it again. It's amazing. It actually looks a lot like the orbiter. Yeah. <laughs> Built around the same time frame. Excuse me. Get in the seat. As long as you're not throwing switches, you'll be okay. Oh, it's like looking at it. You guys want to father son up there? Sure. Go for it. Oh, what? We're going to get a father, father son. Oh, hot. Yeah. It's like when I, uh, I went in, when the hurricane hunters came here, the P3. Oh, yeah? Looked just like this. Just really watch your head going in here. Yeah, I've, I've, I've knocked mine several oh, times. Yeah, I did too. Scoot back here a little bit. Well, y'all think? Yeah. Just a fit on the side there. Got it. We'll get it with this one first. Yeah. Three, two, one. Okay. Not fun. Actually, I might have to scoot back here a little bit. Three, two, one. That's cool. Cool. Yeah, I've got that patch now. Oh, yeah, I'll say there's you, one. You probably want your camera back. <laughs> Forgot about that's, it, actually. That's, that's not mine. <laughs> yeah, earlier we were we were in there and he was flipping switches all over this thing, turning it off. All this was lit up incandescent orange. Oh, wow. And all this stuff was Good. buzzing. You had vents going up over there. <laughs> Just that condensated. Yeah. Hmm. And then when he, I forget which switch it was, it was one of the auxiliary power switches. That little, see where it says autopilot? Yeah. That oh. thing started flashing red. Beep, 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 beep. <laughs> Toss that and she shut up. <laughs> well, I'm gonna head inside because it it's is hot. hot here. Oh, and by the way, real fast, I noticed this earlier. <laughs> Talk about old school. Uh -uh. Pencil sharpener. Oh wow! <laughs> really? <laughs> you probably still used pencils. Yeah. Yeah. No, you, oh. here back up for just a second. I'll show you this. If you look up here, this is how old this plane is. This is a sextant hole. A sextant? They could navigate by the stars with this thing. Oh, oh my god! Neat. Because look, it's like uh, it's like nowadays they've got GPS sensors on it. Right. Yeah. That's not original. They didn't have it back in 1970. <laughs> so. That's true. But whenever wow. whenever they flew to DC and New York, Los Angeles, coming through here, all that, finding their landmarks, they used an iPad to navigate. They just set it up in the window between them. Wow. And which, yeah, I've yeah. seen apps where you can get the charts. He used. He said. Them. I think he said it was a uh, four flight. Wow. So. Wow. That's <laughs> Apple should be very proud. Yeah. Really. <laughs> oh look. Oh yeah, and come check this out back here. I was looking at this earlier. See what see what it says right there. Jam. Japanese Airlines. That's from the other one, because this was in a, this this one was in service with American Airlines for about four years, from '70 70 to '74, 
And the other one was with Japan Airlines from 73 to 88 mm. before NASA picked it up. Well, the ones on this one apparently quit working or didn't work because they were so they stripped it ancient, out of so they pulled it out of the nine old. out of 9-11, which I think it says right here. Yeah, 9-11. Yeah, so there they are. But, he, but even back here, it's like it's got the Japanese labeling on the back. <laughs> 38 taken off. I know. Did I leave my backpack in the cockpit? Yeah, that's right here. That's a good problem to have. <laughs> oh, oh, hey, I left my backpack. Huh? Is this Bergie going in here? What time is it? He went downstairs. No, I was looking for, uh, what time is it? 9.30. Okay, yeah, we gotta go. Get some breakfast. Not a nightmare, and I went, no way. There you have it. Do what? Yeah. Wow. What do you think? Awesome. I love it. That's what yes. we tweeted too. Oh, did Ferguson tweet it? Yeah, forget it. I'm good. <laughs> I'm happy. Yeah. Let's uh, head inside. See what we can find. Yeah. Very cool. <laughs> 